Activision Blizzard Worker Organization. ABK Workers Alliance is a group of organised workers from video game company Activision Blizzard. Formed in response to a July 2021 state lawsuit against the company for harassment and discriminatory work practices, the worker advocacy group are better ABK organised walkouts and demonstrations against the company's policy and practices. The quality assurance workers of subsidiary Raven Software went on strike in December after part of the team was fired. The striking workers announced their union as the Game Workers Alliance in late January 2022 and offered to end the strike pending their union's recognition. Background California's Department of Fair Employment and Housing sued Activision Blizzard in July 2021 with claims of having fostered a toxic fat by work culture in which women were routinely subject to harassment and discrimination. The company's dismissive response upset employees who sought to see the company's workplace issues addressed. Activision Blizzard, worth $65 billion, employs about 10,000 people. A better ABK, a worker advocacy group, formed in response to the allegations to push for company change. History A better ABK organised two walkouts at Blizzard Activision in 2021 in response to the sexual harassment case against the company. In July, the group organised a walkout for equality for specific internal policy changes on topics including arbitration, diversity and recruitment. Another walkout in November followed a Wall Street Journal report that CEO Bobby Kotick had known and not acted on harassment and abuse claims. Over 100 employees demonstrated outside Blizzard's headquarters and 1,700 workers signed a petition for Kotick's resignation. During the same period, the ABK Workers Alliance took several public actions. The group listed four demands, ending forced arbitration, more inclusive hiring protocol, increased compensation policy transparency and an audit of the company's internal policies by a neutral third party. The alliance objected to Kotick's choice of legal counsel to audit the company's workplace and in September filed unfair labour practice suit with the National Labour Relations Board for what the group described as intimidation and coercion to prevent their discussion of wage disparity and forced arbitration policy. As part of a series of changes announced in response to the sexual harassment lawsuit, the company agreed to waive forced arbitration in cases about sexual harassment and discrimination. Their demand met the alliance celebrated. In the time after the Wall Street Journal report and the CEO, one of the alliance's main organisers, senior test analyst Jessica Gonzalez, left the company for personal reasons. In early December 2021, a subsidiary of Activision Blizzard based in Wisconsin that supports the Call of Duty series, Raven Software, fired 12 quality assurance workers about a third of the team. The employees had just completed a five-week end-of-year crunch over time period and the team had been promised pay restructuring for higher salaries. The team and other workers walked out in response. Later in the week, a group as the ABK Workers Alliance formally announced that the multi-day walkout had become an open-ended strike action and they were both raising funds for a strike fund and beginning a union drive. Ultimately, 20 quality assurance workers and 60 other staff participated in the strike, from Raven's 300 total. Since the group was not unionised, the strike did not have union protections. Foregoing salaries during the work stoppage, the group strike fund sought to offset the workers' lost wages. The fund surpassed $350,000 by early January 2022. The Communication Workers of America aided the organising workers who began signing union cards. The Quality Assurance Workers announced their intent to unionise with the Communication Workers of America's called CWA campaign as the Game Workers Alliance in late January 2022. They offered to end the strike contingent upon the company recognising the union. The Alliance wants more realistic development timelines, less crunch time, more transparency from management, more career development opportunities and more empowerment of underrepresented voices. Activision Blizzard denied their request to voluntarily recognise the union. During the ABK Workers Alliance's organising efforts, Microsoft announced that it would be acquiring the company for $70 The organised worker said that the goals of workplace improvements and securing employee rights remained unchanged. 
As Activision Blizzard sought to settle its sexual harassment lawsuit with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, the CWA objected on behalf of an employee affected by harassment and retaliation, seeking a fairness hearing. In May 2022, the Game Workers Alliance announced that they had voted to unionise, having reached a count of 19-2 in favour. As a result, the National Labour Relations Board officially recognised the Game Workers Alliance as a union. Following the Raven QA team's successful unionisation, the 20-member QA team of Blizzard Albany formerly known as Vicarious Visions announced a unionisation drive in July 2022 as GWA Albany.